Tonight, bringing the dead back to life. We're talking about batteries. This man claims he can make old batteries new again without recharging them. It's a no-cost battery. And you can think of it as free energy. The full story tonight on the News Hour. My next guest... With Al Gore winning an Oscar for his global warming documentary and the B.C. government unveiling an aggressive plan to go green, there has perhaps never been a better time to introduce environmentally friendly technology. And a Vancouver College instructor hopes his invention can ride that wave. It's electric vehicle technology with a difference in that it uses batteries that would otherwise be in a landfill. Coming up the alley, this old 1984 GMC pickup truck lacks any engine noise or any visible exhaust, suggesting there's something very different under its hood. This vehicle is electric, running on nothing else but battery power. It's pretty sweet. So I think once you've driven an electric vehicle, um, it's pretty hard to, to go back to a gas vehicle. The truck's original gas engine was torn out and converted about 14 years ago by BC Hydro. The truck's changed hands many times since then, but Matthews and a friend got a hold of it in December and made some interesting, if not revolutionary, changes. The truck runs off what Matthews is calling 15 revived batteries. Batteries that were once dead and have been brought back to life. My, my father um, put this, you know, idea to my head when I was about uh, 10 or 11 years old and he said there's there's got to be a way to revive batteries you know it's a no-cost battery that, that's what we're talking about no-cost battery and you can think of it as uh, free energy the Capilano College instructor uses a special process that not only revives car batteries, but almost any type or size of battery. They're not recharged per se, but chemically restored, and in most cases contain more power than when they were new. Matthew says it means renewed life for the thousands of dead batteries that are simply tossed away and end up in our landfills. What do you get out of all this? You know, if the scientists are correct that um, we're facing mass extinction, then, then you know, it, it's compelling to, to do something about it. Electric vehicles are still a bit of an anomaly, the domain of hobbyists and backyard mechanics. But Mavi says they're environmentally friendly, and his technology transforms it into a type of no-cost transportation. The cost right now of, of an electric vehicle that is highway capable is $60,000 and up. Now, most of that cost is in the battery. Now, if we have a battery system that costs nothing, like a zero-cost battery, then uh, it's within the range of everybody's um, pocketbook. Car and okay. Mavis is currently looking for someone to help him go on tour to spread the word about his revival technology. Until then, he's accepting dead batteries, hoping to add them to his old pickup truck. In health news tonight, a new study says hospitals that are trying to prevent the spread of a contagion.